Hi YouTube family, it's your friend Ashwani and welcome to Let's Share Solutions. This is a quick video. I might have mentioned this thing in my previous videos, but I just wanted to make a fresh video, a complete video, only specifically talking about this issue. Not an issue, but just a suggestion for you. Three things that I want you to never ever talk in an interview. Plus, there is one bonus for you. So what are the three things? If you haven't watched my previous videos, this will be a new information for you. And also, before I proceed further, I would like you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet. So the first thing that uh, I want you to never ever talk in an interview is about gender. Second thing is about politics. And third thing is about religion. Gender, politics, religion. Three things never ever talk about this in an interview. Now, why I am saying this is because the person who is taking your interview is a human being. It's not a computer. It's not a robot. It's a human being. Human beings and not all the human beings, but most of the human beings, maybe not most, but some of the human beings have strong opinions when it comes to gender issues, when it comes to political issues and when it comes to religious issues. Now, let's say the person who is taking your interview has a strong opinion about uh, feminism. Uh, maybe he's a man and he's against women. Maybe she's a woman. She's against the men. And uh, maybe the person has a strong opinion about the religion that he follows. Maybe he's an atheist. Maybe he believes in only one religion. Maybe whatever view he has about that. Or maybe the person is, supports a political party. Now, some people have a strong opinion with that. They are emotionally attached to that. Now, if you talk about any such thing and you have your own opinion about that and that opinion does not match with their opinion, they might, you reject, they might reject you for that. Yes, it happens. So to be on a safer side, always keep, I would say, if you watch my videos regularly, I would say that never have an opinion about these things. Be open-minded. But uh, if you're new, only suggestion I have for you is even if you have a strong opinion, that's not the right time to talk about it. And that's not the right person to talk about it. So at that time when you're giving an interview, do not talk about, do not share your views about gender, religion, and politics. And the bonus. The bonus is uh, just an extra thing I wanted to share what not to talk in an interview. It is never complain or never criticize your previous company or your boss. Even if you hate them, never ever do that. Because if you do that, most probably they might think that this is your nature. Because it, ha it is, it is uh, an observation, even I've seen myself, people who complain about their company, their boss, will complain about their company and boss in the new company also. Because they have a nature. They cannot gel properly with the rules of a company or with the rules of the boss. So they would consider you not a good employee if you criticize uh, your previous boss or the company. So even if you hate your previous boss or company, it's always advisable not to criticize them. I mean, you can do it in a professional way. Now, one question that might arise is that what if uh, the interviewer specifically asks you about any gender, religion, politics issue? What would you do in that case? Now, in this case, when you are specifically asked, if an interviewer asks you about these things, now, it is unlikely, but let's say it happens. So, I would suggest avoid it or do not have a strong opinion about it. Do not give a strong opinion. Do not give a strong answer about that. And also, now, it could be, it may be possible that the, the job that you are applying for, maybe you are applying for a news reporter job. And maybe in that job, they actually want to know your opinion about a specific religious incident or maybe about a political party. So that is also a part of the job requirement. So over there, you may have to answer. You cannot avoid that question in that scenario. If you are going for a job that does not deal with religion, politics, or gender issues, you can avoid that question. You can say, I don't have uh, uh, any views on that and I'm not aware about that, whatever you can say. But in case you're going for a job where this type of information is required, maybe a job of a news reporter, then you may have to answer. So even if you answer, always try to not have a strong opinion, have an open ended 
answer, not a close-ended answer. That's my suggestion for you. Rest, uh, you can always judge the person when you meet that person. That's all in this video. I hope you like the video and I hope this video will help you in your next interview. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, do subscribe because life's too short. Come aboard.